Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you guys some of the best ways that you could actually block all ads on Twitch. Now, this is besides the extension method. Of course, if you didn't know, you can just use Chrome extensions to block ads, but they typically don't do a great job at blocking literally everything. So you have ad block and you block origin, both of which are actually great for blocking all kinds of ads, but they don't really do a great job generally when it comes to Twitch and YouTube and all the other websites because these websites are actually finding ways to counter these two which are some of the most popular and effective ad blockers out there but in order to really get the best results possible you could use services like express nord or surfshark which are not necessarily ad blockers but they act as very effective ad blockers so these are vpns and a vpn will essentially make it look like you're in another country so if i go to any ip finder it'll look like i'm in washington because I'm connected to the Washington server on ExpressVPN. So we've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Again, I've picked the VPNs that have the strongest ad blockers. So let's just start with ExpressVPN, which is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis, not just to block ads, but to also get access to all kinds of services. So for example, if I'm not able to access my local Amazon Prime Video library, which is the American one, and I'm abroad and I go to Amazon Prime Video and I notice that is just not available to me or it's missing the shows that I'm used to watching back in the States, what I could do is connect to an American server using any of these VPNs and I'll be good to go from there. It's as easy as that. Now, besides all the other privileges that you get with VPNs, again, we're specifically talking about blocking ads. So if you go to options here and go to advanced protection, you'll notice that you have options to block trackers, malicious sites and ads. So not only are you blocking ads, but you also blocking the trackers which basically use your data to track what you do online so that websites can advertise products to you that are a little bit more based on your data so essentially they're collecting data so that they can advertise to you a little bit better so if you want to avoid that of course using an ad blocker won't be enough you will have to use something like the tracker blockers right here available in expressvpn and they're available by the way in all these vpns i'm just kind of showing you here so if you go to nordvpn you have something called threat protection which will not only block ads and trackers and all kinds of things, but it will also act like a little bit of a mini antivirus protecting you from files that could be potentially harmful before they download and get installed on your device. So NordVPN is actually great when it comes to blocking trackers and ads and, and whatnot. I would say it's even a little bit better than Express in this regard. Now, if you're looking for something that is a little bit more budget friendly, then you can go with Surfshark and you will find the ad blocker right here. Now, what's cool is that you you can even get the Chrome extension, which will do an even better job at blocking trackers, ads, and malware ridden websites. So all these VPNs work really well when it comes to blocking ads in general, not just the three minute long ads on Twitch. So no matter which one you choose, they'll all work great. If you're looking for something that is super easy to use and very safe, reliable, and consistent, then go with Express. If you're looking for the best well-rounded option that offers a bunch of features for a very reasonable price then go with Nord and if you're looking for the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs like Express and Nord then go with Surfshark especially that you'll be able to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription unlike Express VPNs 8 device limit and Nord VPNs 10 device limit and if you do end up getting any of these VPNs I'd recommend knowing exactly what you want to go for because I've noticed that a lot of people end up spending more money on plans like the monthly plan and VPNs typically have very expensive rates with their monthly plan. So unless you know you're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month, then you probably want to go for something that just saves you a little bit more in the long term, like the six month plan or the 12 month plan with Express. And you also have two year plans, which will save you even more with Surfshark and NordVPN. But it all depends on what you want to go for at the end of the day. I personally like to use Express simply because it's very easy to use very simple and very light on my computer. I don't have to worry about ExpressVPN busying my RAM or CPU any more than a VPN should. And that's personally why I like to use Express. Again, not only because it's quick, but also to maintain as much of my PC's performance as possible. So that'll be it for this video. If you guys are interested again in any of these VPNs, I'll be sure to give you guys links to pricing discounts and the full reviews if you wanna learn a little bit more about these VPNs. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them, like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity.
security. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.